If I say Ali, huh, brother, how do you write Ali? We always say Ali, but truly speaking, Ali Yun, brother. See Tanwin? No, Tanwin is normally the sign of uh, a noun which is indefinite. But in the case of proper nouns, uh, the Tanwin doesn't make any difference. It means the noun is definite. Uh, the noun is definite. You will remember this, huh, please. Okay? And I will be repeating it again and again, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, Now I come to a very important rule in Arabic, you know, and inshallah I will try to explain you in a nice way, brothers and sisters. The beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim's book, brother and sister, as I said, I, will, I admire it and I always mention it and soon you will also feel the way I feel it, you know. Every lesson is designed in a way to teach us something. In other Arabic books, brother, things are all put together like a khichra, you know, and it, it is very difficult. On the first or second or third page of any other Arabic book, you will have verbs coming in present tense and past tense. Uh, brother, and uh, long verbs, you know. So everything is brought together. And it is extremely confusing. It's not confu confusing to the person who already knows Arabic. But it is confusing for us. Okay. So what Dr. Abdurrahim has done, that in his first book, his emphasis is on only noun. We are learning nouns in the first book. There are only four verbs. One, two, three, four. Four verbs mentioned in book one. Okay. Then when we go in book two, brother, and then the verbs will come. And Dr. Abdurrahim's method is this, that he teaches you one thing properly. Okay. But then when the verbs will come, they will come in wholesale. You'll have verbs coming from everywhere, you know. But by that time, we'll be prepared. But my, you know, uh, method is, and I found it very uh, rewarding, producing good results, that we will do some verbs on our own, which are not mentioned in the book. So that when we come to book two, you have a good understanding of verbs. So when they come in front of you, you say, I know it. You know, you'll feel comfortable. So first book is concentrating on nouns. Huh? Okay. And each lesson is like a brick. We make one brick. So we study one lesson, we put a brick. We study second lesson, we put a second brick. And slowly, slowly we'll build our house. You know, brick by brick, lesson by lesson. Each lesson will show you something. Now we come to the page 3 of handouts. All these things are also mentioned in the key. But I have tried to, you know, do little differently, brother. So you must always read the key also. It will help you. Now, in Arabic, the nouns decline. Huh? Declension of noun. In Arabic, nouns decline. You already know it. But you have never realized it. Why? You have never real, realized this. Why? Now I will give you examples. Huh, brother? I am writing something. You already know it. Muhammadun <coughs> Rasulullah What is the English, brother? Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. 
Very good, brother. Then I say to you, We say every day in our salah. What do we say? Ashadu Anna Muhammadan. But why Muhammadan? Before you wrote Muhammadun, now you are writing Muhammadan. Okay. What will be the English? I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave brother and his messenger. Huh? Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Now, every day we say many, many times, Allahumma. What is the meaning of Allahumma? Ya Allah. What is the meaning of Allahumma? Ya Allah. Allahumma salli. We say every day. Allahumma salli. Allah Muhammadin. Hmm? Oh Allah, uh, send your blessings on Muhammad. Are you with me, brother? Huh? Ya Allah. Send your blessings on Muhammad. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Do you see any change in English? Where we wrote down Muhammad, we did not change anything in English. But what about in Arabic, brother? What's going on here? Sometimes you are saying dun, sometimes you are saying dan, sometimes you are saying din. What's going on? This is what we are going to learn and understand. What is the rule, brothers and sisters? That Arabic 